Good morning, 3GD. Here we go with your maths lesson today. It's week four, lesson four. Do you remember the beanbag game you played yesterday or the tiddlywink game? You're going to play again today, but focus on subtraction. So make sure you throw a beanbag twice and subtract the smaller score away from the bigger score. Play for about five minutes and maybe you'd rather play with a partner and you can see who wins each round. The person with the highest score. Let's do some more dividing now using that chunking method with your big jump first and then your smaller jump. What multiplication fact are we going to use to work out this division sum? That's right. How many fours make 56? Today, Chunky Chimp is going to help us. He likes to do a big jump first, remember, then the small jump. We know there's going to be more than 10 jumps of 4 in 56, because 10 times 4 is 40. Now I've recorded that on my number line. He's going to jump the big jump 10 fours all the way to 40. There he is, see, but we haven't quite got there yet. We've got to go from 40 to 56 now. That's a jump of 16. How many fours make 16? Four, eight, 12, 16. Four jumps of four would make that extra 16. There we are. So 10 fours and then four fours makes 14 fours. Right then, we've just worked out that 14 fours are 56, and that means 56 divided by 4 must be 14. Now get your square paper and write down this division sum. Draw me an empty number line and do your chunking to work out the answer. Should have done it something like this. So 10 threes, a big jump gets us to 30, but then we've still got 15 left here. And counting in your threes, it would take five threes to get to 45. 10 threes and five threes make, that's right, 15. So 15 multiplied by three is 45. We know that, 45 divided by three is 15. All because, remember, multiplication is the inverse of division. Look at that family of facts, the number facts. This is how Chunky Chimp did it then. He knew that 10 times 3 is 30, and 5 threes are your 15 here. So all together, he did 15 jumps of 3. Remember, because you know 15 threes are 45, you know, 45 divided by 3 is 15. Sorry about the wobbly writing. It's really hard to write on the computer rather than the whiteboard. Draw another empty number line on your square paper and try this one. How would Chunky Chimp use this multiplication sum on the empty number line to solve the division sum. Give it a go. Let's see, did you do some chunking like the monkey? We know that 10 eights or 10 jumps of eight will give us 80. We need to get up to 104. So there's 24 more to go and we need to think how many eights make 24. And you should know, or you could use your fingers counting eights up to 24 and you need three eighths. Altogether, if you do 10 eighths, then three eighths, you've done 13 eighths. So we know this. Turn to your textbook now and you need page 22 and you need to draw those empty number lines, look. Do them on your square paper please. For extension today, how 
have a little try at page 23. If you can, do the problems at the bottom and the think question on page 22. See you in the morning. Bye.